served. And that's another one in, making Japan work for the side out, and work for the side out they do on Odera. Just, we talked about the precision of their game, and watch Onodera just find a little space there between the blockers, and that ball is delivered perfectly. After that frantic first 15, 20 points, it's settled into a bit more of a rhythm now. Kovacic. Oh, yes! Zina Erna rips one! That was perfectly executed right there. Middle blocker pulled both. Japanese blockers up with them, and then Erno just gets to detonate as the Japanese blockers are falling to the, the earth. Change being made here then. Stalikar coming in, all oh, 2 meters 14 of him, so no recognized setter on the court for Slovenia, but a huge blocking presence front court. Shebel sends it in. Oh, it's close! <laughs> what a lead from Ishikawa! Yeah, it's all smiles for Japan after that does fall wide. A good aggressive high swing that time from Nishida. Two meters 14, not easy to hit off of. No, not easy to get through most door frames either. Kovacic over there to Mozic. She does there in behind. What a set! What a swing! Now Ishikawa is just so good right now at finding those ever so small holes in the Slovenian block and exploiting them. Zika Stern coming in. He manages to pick up a point whilst on the court here. That'll be his 50th in this season's Volleyball Nations League. 23-21, Japan two away. Shebul, oh, straight down the line. Takahashi beating himself up about that, but that was a venomous swing. Yeah, just had a little bit of scud on it, didn't it? Uh, Takahashi retreating a little bit. Stern. Oh, good service. Forces the overpass. And we are level. Payeng pulls the trigger. And it's 23 23. What a great serve that is. Now it's Japan who called the timeout. We take a look at that finish from Payank, 23-23. It is well and truly game on here in Katansk. GQ loving it. Loves it. <laughs> Stand out so much. Oh, another good serve. Oh, the block! It's huge! It's Payank! It's set point! Shock. Shock and awe. I, I mean... You have to credit Stern because he just came in three points ago and already look at the impact he's made for Slovenia. Just unbelievable stuff. It's the only two poor receptions we've seen out of Japan. Jiga Stern goes again. Sakita really has to work. Oh, oh, tiny, tiny margins to save the set. Well, Slovenia are going for a challenge here. Watch his feet. I think they're challenging a touch, however. They, they were pointing at the they were pointing at the center line. You're yeah, right. have his feet gone over the center line? That'll be what the challenge is for. Oh, for a block touch. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering if they think that hit him on the way out. It didn't look like it on our replay. I think this will go the way of Japan, but how about that serving run from Stern? That one was almost another overpass. I mean, Sakita did an unbelievable job to get up, keep Ishikawa in rhythm, and still was tight. Ishikawa had to, I mean, look at the elevation right there. Yeah, last touch, incredible. Payank with the first touch. Brilliant touch by Sakita. Nishida recycles from back court. Takahashi, set point Japan. Unbelievable right there. I mean, 
We saw him do that exact thing and faint it, said Nishida. And that time he swings away. I mean, that's next level stuff right there. Well, they bring in Mia Ora, so Nishida takes a seat on the bench. Sakita sends it on its way. Uno. Is there a touch? Referee says no. Mia Ura pulled his hands down. Did you see that? Erno was trying to get it off the side of the block. Mia Ura pulled his hands and he went wide with that swing. That is no matter what's coming at him. That is Oh, where's that dropped? Little pit wide. Akahashi had a long look at the up rep just to make sure. It is indeed wide. There's Mozic recharging the batteries, getting ready for set number three. Imagine he's got a part to play when they come back out. Oh, what's that come off? Oh, they're calling a lift? Oh my goodness, that's, a, that's not a good call, I don't think. That is not a good call. That came off Sakita, who stayed on the ground with his hands up. Should be a legal dig. Take another look. Now that didn't look like it was above the height of the tape there. He did come off of his feet, which is maybe why that gets called. But it's Just not above the height of the net there, is it? Yeah, unbelievably heads up play from Sakita. It's going to get ruled illegal, I think incorrectly, unfortunately. But it does take us to 19-15, so it's point for point since the first timeout was called at 7-3. Uno serves that on to Ishikawa. Nishida, oh, off the hands, and Yamamoto has to have his wits about him. Uno has to play it. Kovacic in at setter. Giga Stern. Yamamoto again. Sikita. And Ishikawa misses. This is big, and yeah, again, winning those kind of rallies, hugely important for Slovenia. Well, with that, 1916, Japan called the timeout. Cast your mind back, the previous timeout was called at 17-10, so Slovenia on a 6-2 run here. Uh, Sakita made that dig that went the way of Slovenia. Slovenia came back, got another one on the back of it. Nishida close to the line, on the line, he's done it again. I mean, you said the word clinical, and that was clinical. Let's have a look. I mean, Kovacic almost can't believe it because it goes over his left knee, which is on the line. Here he is serving, 20 points to 16. Kovacic. Oh, short to Kozomernik. Brutal. A little extra thud on that one. The big fella across his body. Yeah, that made a different noise, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy who's built differently out there. I mean, he looks like he was built in a lab. That's the first time his serves let him down. He's been really accurate with that float serve. I always Perhaps feel bad little... for the middle blockers after they've made a service error, and then they've just got to sit on the bench. Yeah. But perhaps a little bit juiced up from that yeah. detonation. Is run. Again, Erno. Lovely first pass. Shebul. Yamamoto overcooks one. Yeah, I love how balanced he is on defense, though. It doesn't quite get that one. A lot of pace on that swing down the line. But watch him just hold his position. Good stuff. Shebul, three-point game. Ran Sakita. Oh, they've recycled it. Oh, four touch. That's bad luck. I mean, the bench are incandescent. Mozic is off his feet. Stalika. Come on. No, 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 not come on. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The first touch is his touch. He's blocked. 
Maybe, maybe a lift, but certainly not four contacts as we saw on the replay there. So at the very least, you have to say it's 1-1 in the bad call department each way. Yeah. I think both of those, unfortunately, were incorrect. Well, Slovenia just need to wash this off. It's one point. But again, they can feel hard done by. Oh, and that's an overpass. And Yamauchi, when it rains, it pours. Yeah, so both teams capitalized on a bad call that went in their favor. But this came at the absolute worst time for Slovenia as they were making a good charge here. Onodera, Chigastun, good first touch. And then it touches him on the way through. That will go down as a block for Japan. And they are pulled away at the end of the second set. Second look here, you can see it just hit him oh. on that right elbow on the way out. All probably going out as well. Here's Onodira serving for the set. Good float serve, Giga Stern. Oh, even Payen can't find the floor. But that man Takahashi can, 25-18. Japan one set away from the semi-finals. Again, there are crumbs there. And Ishikawa, so no setter on court. Paninsic, oh, no setter required when Payek shuts it down. A little bit of a smile from Kentaro. Yeah, he was already committed out to the left side attack. Chebol, 2022, need this point. Ran receives. Here's the chase. Oh, just couldn't wrap his foot around it. Somebody put that really big, heavy video board in the way. The video boards look great, but you don't want to test them if you're running at them. 23-20. No. Again, a couple of these scramble points on another day. Slovenia make them. And this is this is where it's so much fun for Japan because you bring Nishida off, you bring Miyahura on, and the two of them are absolutely lethal attacking players. Yamamoto. Oh, there's a net touch though. Yeah, that was beautiful to watch, particularly from our vantage point. We saw that whole play develop. Yamamoto just slid in inside that block. Unfortunately, his blocker is into the net, so it negates the dig, but tremendous defensive play there from the Libro. Payank, 21-23, is now the time. Just one break point, and they're right back in it. Good service. Straight in the game, Mio. Oh, no, it's still alive. Needs to go. Does go. Superb. Oh, are you kidding me? With a second bite at the cherry. Yamamoto, unbelievable play right there. The difficulty, we just see the final kill there from here. Oh, no, we'll get a look at it here. Watch this, expecting it short. It glances off the net, and he still controls it into settable position. That is unbelievable stuff right there. Yamamoto keeping his team out in front. Match point, the semifinals beckon. Ishikawa just reminds us that he is human. What a performance from him. 26 points, 21 attacks, four blocks, and one service ace. In Nishida. three sets. Yes. In three sets. Nishida, Payank, and Erno all on 12 points. They've all had great games as well, but now serving to stay in the match. Ran receives. Ishikawa hits the winning point. Of course he does. His 27th of the match. Japan, jubilant, of course they are. They're semi-finalists, they bounce back from those two defeats against Italy and Poland. And they have shown what a class operation they are. They've defeated...